Kweku has access to some of, some of the things he says that are funny, but on this particular matter, I think I agree with him. He says, Dr. William Akoto, MP for New Abrim, 2021 to 2024, did not vacate his seat when he ran as an independent for the 2024 election. Now, Kweku Azar has... Yes, Kweku Azar has gone into history to tell us that the Speaker's decision is wrong and that there has been many a precedent in Parliament where the people have indicated in the next Parliament, in the Parliament to be that they will not be the same place they were in the parliament that now is, and they didn't leave the parliament. So he lists all of these. William Akoto is one. Uh, Joe Weiss, he says, my friend and V-mate. But Joe Kukwaza is younger than Joe Weiss by far. I don't know how he's his mate. But anyway, he didn't say his mate. He's his friend and V-mate. Uh, independent in 2008, did not vacate his seat, even though he uh, caucused with the MPP. And ran as an MPP candidate in 2012. You remember in 2008, Joe Weiss, who is currently the first uh, deputy speaker, and which is a great example. Joe Weiss is in the chair as first deputy speaker. Has the parliament forgotten? Alban Bagbin, the right honorable speaker, was in parliament when this Joe Weiss thing happened. Has he forgotten? Joe Weiss in 2008 was unhappy that he did not win the primaries in one of the Ashanti region constituencies. He decided to run as independent. He won. He came to Parliament as an independent candidate, sat with the MPP. Then before the end of the 2008 Parliament, he filed as an MPP member for the 2012 election. He remained in Parliament. There was no problem with it. That's the precedent. Bagbin was in the chamber at the time as one of the important MPs. That's the precedent. I don't know whether he referred to this in his ruling. I don't know what Mr. Bagbin referred to in his ruling. But obviously, this was precedent that he really should have looked at. Anyway, and then he talks about um, another one. Who is he talking about again? He said he did not vacate his seat, even though he caucused with the MPP and ran as an independent candidate in 2012. In other words, he served as an independent candidate MP from 2012, 2009 to 2012, but ran as an MPP candidate in 2012 without vacating his seats as an independent. Okay, he goes on. Uh, there is another name. Tainano, NDC MP for Lower Minor Crow, 2008, did not vacate his seat when he ran as an independent for 2012. So Tainano was in NDC 2008. Before 2008 could end, he filed uh, for the next parliament, filed as an independent. He didn't leave. Others in this category include one of the first independent MPs of the Fourth Republic, Gladys Nsua Kintampo, who sought re-election in 1996 on the NDC ticket. Uh, Nanaya Ofori uh, Kuragu, uh, the incumbent MP for Bosomwe Frehon, who contested and lost in the MPP primary. Sete J. Ba, uh, I don't know why he left out Hawa Yakubu. I say, is, is he going to show up? Um, uh, Rashid Bawa, independent for Akan. Then the next time he came as MPP, uh, he's, he forgets Hawa Yakubu, but Hawa Yakubu is a good example as well. Those of us who know Hawa Yakubu Ogede, our great mother and auntie, uh, she also was an independent member of parliament in 1996. In 2000, she came as an MPP member for Boku Central, and she didn't leave the parliament. So all of this precedence was available for Speaker Bagbin. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs>